So today we're going to do chapter four, rules and consequences. As we know, if you don't follow rules, there are consequences for your actions. There's consequences for any action, whether it's you're doing a good job or whether you're doing a bad job. It all depends. You can have good consequences and you can have bad consequences. Mrs. Coyle says it's time to vote. Students can vote for their five favorite rules. When the students vote, they choose the rules. They think they are the best. The class rules will be the five rules with the most votes. As Mrs. Coyle reads each rule, students vote. Mrs. Coyle puts a tally mark for each vote by the rule. <clears throat> so the class rules were follow directions, listen, work hard, do your best, be nice to others, be prepared, be on time. Mrs. Coyle has the students count out the tally marks. Mrs. Coyle reads the rules that have the most votes. The students agree that the rules they choose are important. The rules will help them stay safe and learn. These rules will keep things fair. What happens if we break a rule? asked Tiffany. What happens if we break a rule? asked Tiffany. Mrs. Coyle says there are consequences for breaking a rule. A consequence is like a punishment, or if it's a consequence of a good action, it may be a reward. Okay, so just keep that in mind too, friends. Paige asks if it's like going to jail. Mrs. Coyle tells them that jail is a consequence of breaking the law. Mrs. Coyle says that is one way rules and laws are the same. There's a consequence when you don't follow them. The consequences for laws are big, like going to jail. The consequences for rules are small, like teacher warnings, said Mrs. Coyle. Or, like teacher warnings. Mrs. Coyle says they will add consequences to their rules list. Students discuss some consequences of breaking a rule. One student says he has to apologize when he breaks a rule. Another student says she gets a warning if she breaks a rule. Mrs. Coyle likes their ideas. She writes the word consequences under rules. Then she adds apologize and warning to the list of consequences. The class rules and consequences are done. The empty bulletin board is now full with a new poster. Mrs. Coyle says we have rules to follow to make sure our year at school will be a good one. You all did a great job talking and voting on rules, just like our leaders do. So the rules are be nice to others, be on time, listen, be prepared, do your best. The consequences are a warning, apologize, think time, and detention. So I am going to then post on Seesaw um, questions and answers for you to do, okay? And that will be your assignment for today. So I miss you guys very much and I hope to see you soon.